Hello everybody, welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create this awesome color to black and white transition like I did there. If I wanna extend it, there we go. So here we go, color, black and white. How'd I do it? Let's just start from scratch so you can see it step by step. Okay, here we go. First step, drag and drop some footage onto the timeline like I've done here, perfect. Now go down to the bottom here and click on new item. If you don't see it, just make sure that this is pulled out a little bit more new item and we're going to create an adjustment layer and then just click OK that's fine now drag and drop the adjustment layer but here's the important part drop the start the adjustment layer at the part where you want the transition to begin so for me let's say I want the transition to begin at the three second mark I'm gonna start the adjustment layer so it's lined up to three seconds beautiful now go to your effects panel and here you go type in Lumetri color into the search bar drag and drop that onto the adjustment layer. When you do that, nothing happens right away. No worries, you just need to dig in. We're gonna go to basic correction, open that up. And the, what basically black and white is, is just lack of saturation. So pull the saturation down. So if I pulled it to zero, it would go to black and white, but that's not what we want. We, whoa, we don't wanna go that way either. So what we wanna do is leave it at 100, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on this little stopwatch, and again, making sure your playhead is at the three second mark or wherever you want it to start, uh, your transition. I'm gonna move forward to, let's say the, I don't know, let's go to four seconds. And this is where I want the black and white to finish. So by this point, now I'm gonna take this 100 and drop it down to zero. And if I looked at it, watch what happens. Perfect. It's done. Now, the reason why I use Lumetri Color instead of the black and white effect is because if you need to, you can do things like adjust exposure, adjust contrast, and make it higher contrast, highlights, etc., etc. So you do have that optionality in there too, all of which can be animated if needed.